Whoa. This is pretty amazing. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Before we get started with this video, you already know, like it up, boy. Where's my like? Right there. There it is. Like it. Because I'm going to hit you with that fire. Those flames. Talking about flames. Bro. Jeff Keeley, the dude you see in my intros every day. He started this whole summer gaming fest where he's going to have exclusives, reveals, um, content. First, he had... Um, what did he have? Um, skate, the reveal of um, t pro Tony Hawk. I think that's his name. Tony Hawk, remastered 1 and 2. Today, today, today. Unreal Engine 5 was revealed for the first time. And now, this was running on engine on a PlayStation 5. And so, this looked amazing, bro. Fantastic. As good as this looks, it would look even better. This gives us a glimpse of the power of the Xbox Series X. And um, Epic, um, the, the developers of Unreal Engine 5, they've confirmed that what you see running on the PlayStation 5 right now isn't um, current PC. No current PC can handle this technology. That came straight from unreal engine 5's mouth and of course they're probably paid by sony but at the same time they know tech they know specs so there is some truth to that statement but so many things come to mind about this demo the first like i said um what we just saw witness today no current pc can handle it they say something with the rdna te 2 technology that's in the playstation 5 no current pc can handle it i know pc fanboys are crying right now but <coughs> also it means as good as that demo looked running on the playstation 5 it will look and more than likely run even better on that xbox series X and so because a lot of people were saying it's not going to be that big of a generational leap between um, the Xbox One to the Xbox Series X but they've been saying that every generation since um, the Nintendo 64 only the leap from 2D to 3D that was a huge leap and every generation I have been a gamer through every generation and the start of every generation it's always uh, next gen is not gonna be that big of a graphical leap and that's true for about the first one or two years because develop developers are still trying to uh, make games for both gens but after about two years and they just start focusing on the power that's in this the hardware uh, of the current gen you start to see okay that that couldn't have been done last gen and so you do uh, and you are gonna see some big leaps even digital foundry they had a tech analysis they do that for all the time they had a tech analysis of this um gameplay and they said that they were impressed um they that that no game that they know of has had such technology up close in the game and so unreal engine 5 is alive and well and so can't wait to see what 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 these consoles have in store for next generation now a couple of tidbits i shared my thought that it's gonna even look even probably more amazing on the xbox series x interesting to see what other games sony shows for the PlayStation 5 because this was just a tech demo 
Um, this is all they shown at their PlayStation reveal event. So interesting to see for both Xbox, Sony, and what does this mean for the Nintendo Switch? Nintendo's going to be fine for the first two years or so of the Nintendo Switch. Um, when the next Nintendo consoles launch. But at the, in about 2021, when Unreal Engine launches, because the Nintendo Switch is compatible with Unreal Engine 4, the developers did say Unreal Engine 5 will cover a broad spectrum. So I, it's probably going to be compatible with Unreal Engine 5 too, but there's going to be some major downscaling to have Unreal Engine 5 games running on the Switch. By 2021, I think we should get um, some kind of announcement of a Switch Pro. We'll have to wait and see. But Epic also did confirm, this is a Fortnite trailer, that Fortnite, Fortnite will be transitioning over to Unreal Engine 5. There's, not, there's never going to be a Fortnite 2. This is a game to service, and so the game... It will probably feel like a Fortnite 2. I'm sure there's going to be a major upgrade in graphics, um, the technology, the physics, everything. It will feel like an all-new game, but they're still just going to call it Fortnite. And they'll probably just have a, a different subtitle to it, Fortnite UE5 or something crazy. But Epic did announce that Fortnite will be migrating to Unreal Engine Five, Unreal Engine 5 so should be should be should be some cool stuff and so the tech demo was revealed internet was going crazy they were some mixed responses um, some dudes felt like hey so first Xbox Series X y'all show game but game trailers they had some gameplay but a lot of heavy on the game trailers with y'all um, reveal some people are saying PlayStation 5 didn't even show any games. They showed a tech demo. Um, this is this is sort of, this is sort of cool for informational purposes, not so much to really hype up a console. Um, but this was good to reassure Sony fans that games will be looking good on the PlayStation 5. Because a lot of dudes are worried about clicking on videos like Obi Wan plays. And he always wearing a hat that says 12 is greater than 10. Will my 10 teraflops, which is really should be 9, 12 is greater than 9. Will my 9 teraflops be enough to run good games? And the games would look good. Now, one caveat with this trailer is it was running at 30 frames per second. So I don't know if Sony's going to be targeting 4K 30 for the PlayStation 5. Microsoft already said 4K 60 is going to be the minimum, even though Assassin's Creed Valhalla it's 4K 30. and That's third party games though. First party games. I expect both first party games on both systems to be 4K 60 the minimum. Speaking of first party games. Sony has announced the next state of play. The next state of play will be Thursday, May 14th. Focusing on Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know yet if I'm a live streaming. I might just talk about it later. Um... Ghost of Tsushima does look lit though, but that's gonna be this Thursday at um, May. F this Thursday at what time? What time? I know it's this Thursday. This Thursday, all right? It's this Thursday, bro. Y'all go look up the time. Also, also another news item before we end this video: Phil Spencer has come out and said the coronavirus will have impact on not just Xbox but on every game. Every developer in 2021 software, uh, we're going to start feeling the effects of the coronavirus in 2021 game releases. So, going to be interesting to see. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. 
Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.